uh, today I'm going to be making a DIY project. If you watched my room tour in my bathroom, I have like a little magazine flower thing hanging on my wall and someone did recommend that I show how to make that because I learned it from a YouTube video and I can't find the video anymore. So I do not take credit for this idea, but I will show you how to make it. I'm actually going to show you how to make a mini version, but all the same rules would apply to the larger version I have in my bathroom. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into what you need. So the first thing you're going to need, well, several things possibly, are some catalogs or magazines. I like using Urban Outfitters catalogs because they have a lot of really pretty prints and interesting things going on in them. I save these whenever I get them in the mail. You'll also want some scissors and either a hot glue gun or tape or um, normal glue. I prefer using a hot glue gun just because it makes this process a whole lot quicker, but really what Ever adhesive you want to use would work fine for this project. So if you are making the larger version of this, basically all you would do is just take your magazine or catalog and you would just kind of open it up like that and you would just take a pair of scissors and run it along just to get all the pages free. But since I'm not going to be making a huge one, I'm just going to open my magazine for a couple of pages. Of course you can always go back and cut out more, but I'm just going to cut out part of them right now and then we have a bunch of pages all freed up. So since I'm making the mini version, which some of you guys might be making as well, I'm just going to fold these in half because this is the easiest way to figure out where the exact middle is. Then there's a crease that's pretty easy to follow and you can cut these in half. And then you have tons of pretty pattern pages. <laughs> Then I'm going to move on to my floor just because it's a hard surface and I'm going to be using a hot glue gun. Definitely don't use one of these on your bed. I hope this is common sense, but um, yeah, these, like when they're just sitting on their sides, tend to leak. Okay, so basically all I'm going to do now is figure out which side I want to be up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start rolling them into a little cone shape starting from one of the bottom corners, if I could get this tucked under. And to keep it staying in a cone shape and not just like a straight roll. Just make sure you're mostly only curling from one half of it. Like that. I also forgot you'll probably want tape for this project. Alright, so I went and got my tape and now I'm just going to take a small piece and tape up that bottom corner. That way it won't come undone and you won't mess up your cone. So I'm just going to repeat this step a ton of times and I will see you guys when I'm all finished. Um, also a little tip before I get started, um, go ahead and like keep these next to each other while you're making them so you don't waste time like making unnecessary cones. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get started now. At this point, you can start figuring out uh, which ones you want sitting next to each other. I don't really want too similar of ones next to each other, like um, if any of them have white tips on them or something, maybe I won't have those ones touching. All right. So everything is looking pretty good. You can just get a general idea of where things are sitting next to each other because it's about to get messed up. So we're just going to start kind of scooting them away. From one another. So just do a stripe on the inner sort of part here and then quickly match up another one to it and just hold them in place for a couple seconds to let the glue kind of set and even if you can see the glue which you probably can't from this far away but it's not a big deal unless it's a big deal to you then just be sure you do really thin strips when you're connecting them. Now I'm gonna put one here and connect it's starting to come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of these and then I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so as you can see, as I made it to the end, I actually ran out of space. I mean, I guess I could make this a little bit fuller, but why waste time? So I'm just going to pick whichever one I like best. I think this one's good. I'm going to go ahead and get it finished up. I actually might put this white one in just to separate those kind of bluish colors a little bit. And before closing it up, 
I'm going to hold this in place for a sec and pop some glue on this inner part here. And close off my flower. So since this is hot glue, it dries really, really fast. So you'll be able to move on to the next step um, almost immediately. And in case you're feeling bad for this last cone right here, he's actually going to have a place to go. Just sort of like snip off the end. But all I'm going to do is crumple it up a little bit. Actually, a lot of it. <laughs> in a way that's, you know, somewhat appealing to the eye, I suppose. And then I'm just going to put some glue around this inner portion here. And I'm going to stick down this crumpled piece of paper. And that'll finish off the flower. You could do a couple things actually on the inside of the flower. You could put like a nice big silk flower in there or I don't know, some little jewels or whatever you want to do. So this was basically the entire DIY. I hope you like how it turned out. Now let's go find somewhere to hang this up. So as much as I like my purple Urban Outfitters bag, I think my flower would look a lot cuter there. Let me just go ahead and make sure it'll work. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. This thing is pretty light, so if you were gonna be using this in a college dorm or some apartment where you can't put nails in the wall, this is a perfect decoration for you because this could honestly go up with tape. Um, but if you feel a little unsure about it or if you're making the bigger one, I just used like clear tacks in mine and popped them in through the backside. <laughs> Also use command strips. Uh oh, looks like I'm gonna need tax. <laughs> Two should be sufficient. I think my wall might need some adjusting. Concludes this DIY. If you do something like this and you have an Instagram, just do at Hey I Am Tara so I can see it. Or you could just leave me a video response or whatever you want to do. Just let me know what you thought of this DIY down below, and I will see you guys next video. Bye.